good morning guys so today we are headed off to see our first client of the day i want to say that i have about 10 to 13 clients my morning is starting off a little rough i'm missing a nail on my right hand already my whole bag just spilt over and i don't know what's going on this morning has just been a little crazy um this weekend i was just not feeling my best um i don't know like it was just a lot coming back from london so by the way if you have not go watch my london solo trip because I'm definitely in my working girl solo travel era right now and I feel like everybody's in a different era right now but that is definitely my era. So let's go off to see my first client and I'm going to try to record as much as I can um, as far as like a day in the life of a full time contracted speech language pathologist in a pediatric early intervention setting. That was a lot but yeah that's pretty much my whole title so let's go. I put his back on. Addy, you put his back on? Yeah. I said the is us. Alright. We clean up and we're gonna put Mr. Potato Head away. Okay, you guys, so we just saw our first client of the day and now we are headed to see our second and third clients. So I have two kids at the same school, so we're going to see both of these kids back to back. And then I got two more kids after that. And these kids literally, I can walk to their schools from each other. So, yeah, I'm like looking at my GPS. So, let's head to our next couple kids. Nose. Nose. He has a red nose. Arms. Mm -hmm. guys so we just saw two clients back to back so we were pretty much at that school for i would say over about an hour so like i said every kid is about 35 minutes each um so i love when i have multiple kids at one school because it cuts back on driving so now we are heading over to our next client this is a good day to film because we are pretty busy today so yes let's keep moving no i did not i haven't met your sister so i don't met your brother all right we're gonna see him different fruits and we're gonna practice naming them hey guys so my last client of the day canceled so we did pretty good today i want to say we saw about seven or eight clients today and like i say i set my goal to always see at least six every day but of course that's with like cancellation so i have an average of like 10 to 13 kids on my schedule and in just case things happen i know that as long as i see six i will make my quota or how much i need to make for the week um we are now currently walking to the nail salon it is raining but i've learned that honestly sometimes just being in the city it just makes more sense to just walk and i plan on going to the gym tonight so we're gonna get this nail fixed i've also made a priority as soon as my nail breaks we go and get it fixed we do not walk around with broken nails anymore that's mm -mm, we're not doing that so let's go get this nail. okay so let's do a little amazon not very aesthetically pleasing unboxing video right now because oh it's gonna stop. i had this corset top should i try it on for y'all do y'all want to try on haul it down a little bit like let's get into this top like what amazon in this waist doesn't look bad i'm only going to the gym one time but i'm going again to tonight but amazon for the win i don't even have no plans but i feel like when scissor comes back to philly because y'all know she canceled on philly for whatever reason but she went to new york and atlanta like right after this is my outfit and I'm wearing my camo pants. So like can we hear a little bit for the top? I love it. So I don't know. I don't have an Amazon storefront, but I shop on Amazon all the time. So part of me is like Jay, just get an Amazon storefront. But I think when I launch vasojay.com at the next month or whenever I launch it, I will put I will give y'all an Amazon storefront because this 
Okay, y'all. So, we are in TJ Maxx now. We were in Five and Below. I didn't vlog because I was on the phone with one of my with my best friend, Kedrick, and he needed me, so I had to talk to him. But this is so cute. It's going with the theme of my apartment. My bedroom is supposed to be, like, vintage, luxury, chic. Yes, so I'm going to get this. It's only $8. I have this candle in my hand which is no this is body scrub i'm sorry i had a candle in my hand give me all a little tj maxx haul so i just love tj maxx home decor you can never go wrong i am just loving home decor shopping so we grabbed some things at a tj maxx like you guys saw and then we also grabbed some things from five and below of course because those are your go-tos, TJ Maxx, Five Below, Ross, and yes, like I, like I said, I just moved here in January, so I have so much to decorate. Like, I'm now focusing primarily on my bedroom and my closet, and for those of you who don't know, my closet is going to be my closet slash office area. I'm going to show y'all how I do my desk, but I still don't have a chair. I've... My I'm building my closet from scratch, so that's going to take a minute, so I have to get my dad when I can. But everything else is coming together so nicely, and my bedroom is just, I cannot wait. I'm going to give you all the full apartment tour, probably in the next, like, my plan was to have a house for me next month, but, mm -mm, like, no. I, it's my That back room looks way too messy. I think if my closet was done, I could give you all, because honestly, I'm always going to buy home decor, like... But I feel like once I don't, when it's like I'm buying it more for fun and not so much like a necessity, then it'll be a different story. Because right now, it's, we need chairs, we need bar stools, like the big stuff. And I just, we're going to see what we can find. So let's go on Ross and see if we can get some more little cute things. Maybe we'll get a chair. Hopefully, that would be amazing. But we'll see. You got to speak things into existence. I said, hopefully we can leave with a chair. I'm loving this ottoman because it definitely matches my bed and I didn't want to have too much blush colors for y'all. This is only $30, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. $30? Like, it's so cute. Look how cute it is. Uh, I'm filling this just to put on the desk. Like, this is cute. $6? As you guys can see, I'm obsessed with this blushy color. Okay, y'all, this vlog is officially all over the place. Now we're at ShopRite. ShopRite's a grocery store here in the Northeast. And I'm going to try to quickly grocery shop because this place closes in one hour. And I'm starving. I need breakfast, lunch, and just at least like three things I can make for dinner this week because we are not going out to eat this week. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, if y'all have not yet watched uh, Sex Life on Netflix, it is so good. So, y'all... We're gonna do a little. I literally ran the grocery store, only spent $34 because I just needed something quick to cook for dinner tonight. So we're gonna try this lasagna soup. Mind you, I am no chef by any means. And then I bought salad so I can meal prep for the week because, yeah. And I got some waffles for breakfast because I'm a quick breakfast kind of girl. Like, I'm. Oh, I'm gonna get these garlic knots to eat with it. And we're gonna make it. All I got was ground beef. They had no ground sausage. Oh, I forgot I got yogurt. I definitely can make a parfait. And this is all going to be for the lasagna soup. I've been craving this lasagna soup because I've seen it. You guys ever see something on your timeline and then you're like, I need to make it. And then you see like multiple people make it. That's how I felt with this lasagna soup. So it smells good. And all I did was just put some seasoning. So we're going to make it and then i'm gonna show y'all how it comes out and that's gonna be my dinner and mind you i'm eating dinner at almost like 11 o'clock at night because i don't know my room is coming out cute though so i can't wait to give y'all the full apartment tour because it's gonna be so cute a little update of the pasta it's actually coming out really good it smells amazing and now we're about to drop in the noodles and yeah so the lasagna soup actually came out really good and I am about to eat my soup and call it a night and finish watching some Netflix. So thank you guys so much for tuning in.